Hello, welcome to part two. I am Mason the Critic and we are reviewing the heat. Now we're going to continue from part one. So anyway, we are going to, so yeah, where were we? So yeah, Melissa McCarthy's character, her brother is now, is now sneaked off from a from the end, he says he knows where they're probably gonna, where the possible drug thing's gonna be. We find out it's a flop, and we also find out that that his dad has been shot and been left on the street for dead. It's a bloody cop movie. It's not always gonna be funny. <laughs> What's the fucking monkey luck? If you're watching this because of this. Hopefully this ain't just shit. Ah, shit. Shit, over there. Let's keep it over there. Anyway. So. We find out that. That. That pretty much. We'll see what happens. Let's see. Anyway, let's see. Anyway, so we get to this scene. We get to see where right where they find out the two are gonna break up as a duo. Well, I'm pretty much at the end. They, later on, we find out they actually have reteamed up, and they pretty much see a lot of sketches where we want to just see them find all the people. I'm pretty much. By the end of the film, we get to see the they get prepared to attack them in place, getting all the weapons from Melissa McCarthy's fridge. Anyway, at one scene they throw, they pretend that there's, the, there's an old bunch of them, and then they throw a bag, and they turn out a grenade right next to it. They cover for it, and they blow up most of these guys. Ah! Dead. Anyway, so it turns out not all of them are dead. It turns out the guy from before they were going to shoot in the dick is still alive. We didn't find out the big boss guy they've been trying to look for, the drug lord. It's been trying to, it's actually, it doesn't want the cops. Oh, so also, yeah, I'm sad to get stabbed in the leg a couple of times. Anyway, you never saw that. That a few seconds. That about a few seconds ago. That never happened. <sighs> anyway, after that, we find out that the two cops. We find out one of the cops is actually one of the. Well, it's actually the big drug lord, and she's the one in the head. Later on, we find out what happens, and we pretty much see the rest of these guys get killed. Then we have to finish off this drug lord guy. So McCarthy's brother is about to get shot in the head, about to get shot. Sandy so Bullock here is barely be able to walk. Most is to shoot him in the dick, and pretty much he's put to hospital and probably get arrested later. Get rid of the can she moves back there. She goes back to normal. She finally makes friends with her family, and pretty much that's the end of the movie. An okay, maybe I guess. I recommend it, I guess. Um, it was by the guy Dorothy Bryce made, which I haven't watched. Uh, I've got a bit of a feminine side. Let's go, live Miranda. Oh, come on. Ricky Devay's character Derek likes it. Anyway, let's try it out again and get a chat, maybe. Excuse me. I've just got to sort a few things out. Oh, you think you're gonna die? Ah! 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 Ah!
got him. I've got him. Say your breath! Ah, 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 ah. Get rid of his body. I have to. to you got no illusion. Do you know this yet? Right, I'm fucking angry. I'm gonna fucking die out. You're bleeding to death already as you speak. No, not. Break you off. No, not. He's dead. Uh, I'm a British critic. I'm gonna get shit off my face. It ain't over yet. Yeah, This is a fucking end. I have a little secret. <laughs> I'm not British critic. And uh, next time I will be viewing a film. I can't remember the name of it. I think it's called God in 60 Seconds. It has Nicholas Cage in it. Anyway, I'll see you next video next week. Oh, yeah, remember to subscribe and comment what you think.